Between the years 2010 and 2011, there were more than 6,500 girls from primary and secondary school who dropped out of school due to pregnancy. At present, girls become sexually active from as early as the age of 9 years, while 25% of secondary school students begin bearing children. A key part of the problem is that girls do not have access to information about the changes that happen to them during puberty and how they can look after themselves. With these statistics, I embarked on the Project Fahari initiative, Swahili for Pride, to empower girls through the sensitization and provision of education on the important nature of menstrual health management. I traveled to Mwanza, the second largest city in Tanzania, and home to Lake Victoria, and the Sukuma. Despite the growing economy, a large number of the girls' population does not have access to many services or social developments, including family planning and contraception. This is highlighted annually by a large number of girls dropping out of school due to early pregnancies. During my stay, together with Marie Stopes Tanzania, we conducted workshops and discussions with adolescent girls on puberty, menstruation, and family planning. As Miss World Tanzania, I was able to use my title to spend time with the girls of two secondary schools to make them aware of what results after their first menstrual cycle and to educate them with family planning options. We were able to discuss about unwanted teen pregnancies, sometimes resulting in abortions and maternal mortality. During the project, we also addressed the case of dropouts caused by absenteeism at times of the monthly cycle to be reduced when girls' fear of humiliation and superstitions about the subject have been eradicated. We also visited the mature and older women of the community. <laughs> nakuta kwamba kuna tatizo kubwa wana kama vile aibu hivi au wana uoga wa kuongea mambo yoyote kuhusu kukua na wazazi wao sana sana wa mama we encourage them to talk to their sons and daughters about puberty and family planning earlier in order to reduce the risks for their children as well lengoni kuboresha maisha pia taluma madili mema Menarchy continues to be a sensitive subject in many parts of Tanzania. With the current success of Project Fahari, I have been motivated to continue raising awareness about personal hygiene, sanitation and reproductive health to remove barriers that stand in the way of girls' education. This project is a long-term commitment for me personally, and as I pass my crown to the next Miss Tanzania, I am reminded by Brigman Young's wise words, you educate a man, you educate a man. You educate a woman, you educate a generation. And I hope that this will be my legacy as Miss World Tanzania 2014.